Okay, so we had a tournament yesterday. It was three rounds. This is the, my first game of the tournament against Dark Elves. And I've really only played one Dark Elf game in my life, and it was a, about a year and a half ago. So I really, you know, I've read the army book and all, but I, I'm really not familiar with uh, how they function as an opponent. So kind of curious to see how that, that works out. You can see the board. This is uh, how my opponent deployed, and he didn't move during his first turn, so it's also the first turn. So on his right, he had a big block of spearmen, level 2 sorcerers with a focus familiar, a big block of corsairs, and I know in the spearman unit and in the corsair unit there is an assassin, because it was an open list tourney. And uh, in my other games, we didn't uh, share that much detail about our list, but in this one we did. Anyway, there's a level 4 sorceress, then 5 witch elves with a cauldron of blood behind it, and then a big block of uh, 20 black guard. And there might be a character in there, I'm not sure. And uh, my opponent thought that he had brought 20 witch elves, but um, when you looked at his list, he, he forgot to increase the amount, and so he was just kind of taken by surprise that he only brought uh, 5 of them. So it's kind of a bummer. So I have a, my lord and a pegasus in the lower right, big block of men-at-arms, got some pegasus knights. Um, big block of knights of the realm with a damsel, big block of knights errant with my BSB, some fast cav in front of them, pegasus knights, five real knights with the damsel, my trebuchet. I have 18 skirmishing bowmen, and then to the left I have uh, six knight errant, knights errant. And you see my opponent on the other side of his uh, black guard, he has another level 2 sorceress, this one with an extra uh, power dice, two bolt throwers, and ten crossbowmen. So there's his deployment. His first turn he doesn't move. He shoots at me. It does spells. And I, I either take no damage or little damage. His, he went magic heavy, and it really didn't work out for him, uh, especially on turn one. So I get to go. I, um, I'm flying my general around. I'm just trying to be a nuisance on this side. He doesn't have any large targets, so my general isn't wonderfully effective. But uh, I'd like to hunt down some of those sorceresses out there. Move my men-at-arms up. Uh, use my fast cab. I'm trying to bait his witch elves because uh, they're frenzied and uh, like to set them up for a charge. Pretty much advance everybody else. And for the most part, uh, shooting and everything else is ineffective. So you notice I went from Brett turn one to Brett turn two. During Dark Elf turn two, you can see he moved a little bit. And if you look at my troops, I'm not missing any of those important knights, and I'm missing a few of my men at arms. So again, his man, his magic phase just was abysmal. It was awful. So on my turn two, on the right hand side, you can see I took my lord and flew him with uh, up behind his line. So I've got line of sight on the cauldron of blood on a level two and a level four. Um, my Pegasus knights. There towards the middle, I charged his one of his level twos. She fled, and I caught her, so one mage down, and the other Pegasus Knights charged one of the bolt throwers. And on the far left, the uh, Knights Errant charged those crossbowmen. And you can see how that battle turned out. Well, yeah, well, we traded wounds, and then I, I beat him and ran, ran him down. Knights Errant are off the table. You can see the... Uh, the Pegasus Knights in front of the Bolt Thrower. Uh, there's no more Bolt Thrower, so they destroyed it. I decided not to overrun because I wanted uh, my options open in terms of who I could charge with those guys. And this worked out really weird. I, I destroyed the Witch Elves and did an overrun, hoping to get into the Cauldron of Blood, and I rolled like a 3 or a 4. Um, and so I know those Corsairs are going to get a charge to my flank, and those Blackguard can as well, and so I'm really kind of worried about that big block of uh, knights knights of the realm out there. So on his turn two, he did not charge with the black guard, he did with the corsairs, so I just fled from him. So you can see I have that red marker out there showing that uh, I lost my ward save. And then there's nothing else he can do except try to cast magic, but um, it still isn't, it just really isn't doing a whole lot for him. And there's just another look at the board. There we go. Now, Brett turned three. Um, those Pegasus Knights that are standing out there, I charged um, his level two on this side. She fled, and I, I overran her again. So they're setting up, getting ready to be charged by the Spearman, but he's down both of his level twos. My general got a charge off into his level four. I don't know what he was thinking leaving his, his, um, his sorceresses out there unprotected. 
but it it made it so it really wasn't a game. So I'm just going to fly through the rest of this. I mean, he went magic heavy and his magic didn't work, and now his mages are going to all be killed. I charged my men at arms into the flank of the Corsairs unit because they're um, I want to say they're frenzied, and so they would. I'm pretty sure they'd beat me, and we would come this way. And if they don't beat me, and we stay. That that's good too. So I'm trying to pull those Corsairs away from my knights. I uh, rallied and reformed my knights of the of the realm unit so that there was room for my grail knights to get through and get that charge. I was able to see, but otherwise I wouldn't have been able to fit. And um, I'm just going to start flying through these pictures. Brett turn three, you can see my men at arms got beaten and it pulled the corsairs this way, so they're no not really threatening. And my BSB unit can now uh, come up a little bit. Um, my general hits that, that level four and um, beats her and gets an overrun into the black guard unit. So then we fight the black guard unit with my general fighting twice this turn. So that was kind of nice. And you can see it did a great job of killing those guys. There are very few of them left, but they're, you know, they're, they're going to stick around and, and keep on fighting. So after I won combat, I uh, expanded my frontage with the grail knights to get a couple more strength four attacks in there. And he immediately killed both of them. <laughs> So this is Dark Elf turn four. We're just going to hang out in that combat until I just killed every last one of those guys. You can see the lower right, he took his Corsairs and angled them again towards my BSB unit. And again, I know there's an assassin there. He actually popped out against my men-at-arms. So um, I really am not interested in getting into a charge into him because I think he's just going to assassinate my BSB. So I take my fast cab to get behind his spearmen. As far as I'm concerned, in this tournament, there's no points for... Um, for massacring an opponent. You have points for winning, for drawing, or for, you know, or for losing. Those, That's it. And then there's objective points and battle points and stuff like that. So for this game, having units close to the, that hill and that building and pieces of terrain are giving me points. Anything more than a minor victory doesn't net me anything. So I'm not interested in, in getting into combats with these two big blocks that also have assassins. So really I'm just kind of uh, forcing them to stay out of combat. The uh, spearmen charged my Pegasus knights who fled. Um, otherwise, you can see my Pegasus knights on the left hand side charged into the Black Guard, tried to kill a few more, and at the top, my knights errant charged into the Cauldron of Blood uh, because you need to get that thing off the board. And you can see my uh, knights errant uh, reformed again to get into a better uh, fighting formation. So you can see here we're still ha we're hacking away at the black guard. They have very few left, but they're not going anywhere either. And there's where we sit on Brett turn four. So Dark Elf turn five. He uh, moves his corsairs up again. Sorry about this awful picture. And we're uh, otherwise we're just fighting still. Yeah, that's better. So at the end of that fighting. His black guard are finally destroyed. You can see the uh, Cauldron of Blood beat my Knight Errant unit in combat. They fled, which really surprised me. That Cauldron of Blood is tough. So I charged it with my Grail Knights, and now I'm just flying everything else out of charge arc. I mean, there's no way he's going to get a charge on me with my Pegasus Knights, Fast Cav, and my General. So now I'm just dancing around the board. I'm backing up my BSB unit. I'm backing up my Knight of the Realm unit. I rallied... Um, those Corsairs charged my Pegasus Knights. Uh, I chose to flee with them, thinking I'll rally them next turn. So now we're just hacking away at this Cauldron of Blood. Those things, man, I, I couldn't kill them. And uh, so it's whittling away my, my Grail Knights there. Dark Elf, turn six. It really sets up um, his uh, Corsairs to where I can charge them if I want to. Fighting up there again. And it comes my turn. I could have charged that unit with my BSB unit and with my Knight of the Realm unit, and I just decided not to. I just uh, <laughs> there was nothing to be gained from it because uh, I'd hit it in the flank, and that assassin could could take out somebody I didn't want to. I'd won the game. I knew I did. So I just I just stayed, and we just finished combat like that. I charged my Knight Errant unit back into the Cauldron of Blood. I was never able to kill that thing. It survived the whole game despite being charged by my Knights Errant and my Grail Knights and then having to fight both of them at the same time. So um, anyway, that was turn one, game one. Really kind of, I mean, it was just a massacre and it likely could have been much worse of one, but a horrible, mad, horrible luck on his magic phases and then 
again, he left his all his sources is totally unprotected, and um, allowed allowed me to get a really easy victory by by uh, picking them off uh, in turn two, maybe three, whatever it was. So anyway, game one, nice and fast and easy, and we moved on to game two.